Hey there, how's it going? My name is Hassan. This is Bad Days. Where your bad days are your best stories. Today, we're going to talk about a, a couple of things, and then we're going to go eat a thing, okay? So, a, a very popular trend of the last several years is pop culture tie-ins to fast food brands. You got McDonald's doing Szechuan sauce to promote the Mulan movie. And then randomly in 2020, you got McDonald's making a Travis Scott burger. And uh, people got really obsessed with it. There were people camping out in lines, in tents, mind you, waiting for their chance to have one one beautiful bite of a Travis Scott meal. Turns out, doing research for this video, uh, I found out it's actually a rebranded burger. It was in fact once called the McJordan. Released in 1992, it was the very first celebrity tie-in, and it was for Michael Jordan, and they simply rebranded it as the Travis Scott meal. So there's a little tidbit for you guys. But yeah, these tie-ins have gotten crazy, crazy popular, both in the sense of uh, this Travis Scott burger was so successful, they decided to double, triple, and quintuple down. Multiple companies doing it from everything from animation to K-pop to rap stars to Howie Mandel. I don't know why, but I, I think he had, he had McNuggets at one point, the Howie Mc Mandel McNuggets. Don't Google it, that's definitely not true. To, to things like the Darth Burger, you heard that right, the Darth Burger. I had my my creative director, uh, Quentin Q Money, curate this list for me because I was busy eating the the, the star of this video, the uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse Burger that's coming out, or that's out right now at your local Burger King. I'm not gonna say anything more about that yet. We'll get into it soon. Don't worry, we're gonna dive deep into the red buns of the Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse Burger. Okay, but until then, Quentin gave us a list of just like various tie-ins to go through. Let's talk about the Darth Burger, okay? This is from a burger brand called Quick. Now, Quick is very prominent, not here in the US of A, where we have Burger King, McDonald's. If you're on the West Coast, you have In-N-Out. If you're in the, the East Coast, you have Shake Shack, but it's crazy to compare Shake Shack and In-N-Out. We, we get into this argument constantly of like, which is better? Obviously, Shake Shack is definitively better, right? But we're talking like quality, like price per burger, maybe getting an In-N-Out. They're just different calibers. One's a fast food burger. One's like a sit down, eat burger. So I don't know why we're comparing it. But obviously, you have the East Coast burgers, West Coast burgers, and then you have Quick which is a French burger place. And um, for the 2012 uh, re-release of Star Wars, Quentin, wait, wait, which Star Wars was it again? Episode one. Uh, the quick re-release of Star Wars episode one <laughs> in 3D, mind you, uh, they had to release a Darth burger, which looks like this. <laughs> Good Lord, <laughs> this looks heinous i don't ever under any circumstance want to eat something that is legitimately black i'll give you brown right i want some chocolate like i can see a sauce being a, a beautiful brown color or something of the sort but anything that is legitimately black food wise obviously <laughs> seems like a bad idea right it seems like seems like a dangerous uh mixture but hey this is a black burger that existed all the way back when in in 2012, which when I'm saying it feels very recent, but 2012 was in fact uh, 11 years ago. I was in in middle school doing show choir in 2012, um, and I hadn't even started eating meat yet because I grew up I grew up Muslim. So the only burgers I was eating were uh, straight from mom's kitchen. The, this this incredible Star Wars tie-in burger looks 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 fucking horrible. Looks truly horrific. Then you have the Szechuan sauce from McDonald's. Now we all know about the Szechuan sauce, not because we were all there in 1984 whenever Mulan aired. I think that's, 1984, was I so, in 1998 when Mulan aired. No, none of us were there for it, but why do we all know about it? Because of Rick and Morty. In 1998, they had this promotion for the Disney film Mulan, where they, where they, they, they created a new sauce for the McNuggets called Szechuan sauce, and it's delicious. Wow, this sauce is amazing. You said it was promoting a movie? The uh, Adult Swim smash hit adult animated cartoon that is currently uh, in active need of a new voice actor because old Justin Roiland's in some hot water. I don't know if you guys heard about this, but the guy who voices Rick and Morty had some allegations, had some charges brought upon him that included kidnapping. Um, but I like Rick and Morty up until a point. But the Szechuan sauce, they opened a season with the idea of the Szechuan sauce and it created a movement. It created a ridiculous movement of people demanding McDonald's bring a sauce 
that, first of all, it's a McDonald's sauce. It's mediocre at best anyways, and they demanded that McDonald's bring back the Szechuan sauce. They, they caused a movement, and the McDonald's, they cater to the will of the of the intellectual viewer of Rick and Morty, <laughs> and they brought back the Szechuan sauce. Uh, there's a very viral clip that I was unaware of until I was making this video of a lunatic standing on a table demanding his Szechuan sauce, really, really uh, showing you what the average Rick and Morty fan looks like. No Szechuan sauce? No. I want Szechuan sauce. Where's my Szechuan sauce? I'm getting rich. McDonald's Szechuan sauce was brought back because of Rick and Morty, so that's cool. Kind of an integration, right? It was there because of Mulan, but it's brought back from Rick and Morty, so it's like a double double doozy tie-in, almost like the McJordan and Travis Scott burger, but that's more cheap and ridiculous, which, by the way, the Travis Scott meal is just a regular quarter pounder, fries, Sprite, and barbecue sauce. It's not special. I don't know why people freaked out about it. Apparently, they sold like Happy Meal kits and lunch boxes that you could find on eBay for hundreds of dollars, which is just absolutely insane. And 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 look, I, I like fast food as much as the next guy. I'm trying to dial it back. Okay, we're trying to live healthier, happier lifestyles here. Um, other than the burger we're gonna eat today, because we're gonna go eat the Spider-Man Miles Morales burger. Other smaller movie tie-ins, right? Hunger Games is recently getting a pretty massive resurgence because they're making a new Hunger Games thing, and they're just redoing the thing they did before but now with Rachel Zegler instead of uh, Jennifer Lawrence which okay um, but what you may not remember is when their uh, <laughs> when their fiery new sub and flatbread sandwiches drop the chicken jalapeno melt and the steak jalapeno melt all the promo the Hunger Games catching fire an incredible integration or when um, when Jack in the Box dropped the Sonic the Hedgehog integration and dropped tiny little tacos also seeing Sonic look like this just just never forget that we bullied a studio into fixing this horrible design and then Disney took that design I don't know if you guys know this because I don't know I'm the only person who watches like a fuck ton of children's media I guess um, but they took ugly Sonic right from the Sonic trailers that they completely redid they spent another year on the movie which to massive success like good, good on you Paramount that's a good move right Disney without licensing rights or anything took ugly Sonic and then made ugly Sonic a character in the Chip and Dale movie and he looks disgusting and horrible and he's actually pretty hilarious in that other than that we have the X-Men Dark Phoenix which hey we were just this is the second Jennifer Lawrence tie-in of the night okay the X-Men Dark Phoenix burger <laughs> With its beautiful mystique blue, it's it's literally a blue patty. Unlike the Spider-Man burger and even the black burger, where it looks legitimately like it's dyed that color in and out, this looks like it's like lightly painted with blue and it looks awful. But it's not just food that we do integrations with. Since we're gonna get to Spider-Man, let's just get to Spider-Man now. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is a landmark film in so many ways. It made people take animation so much more seriously than it just being a children's medium. Also, it was the very first time we got to see a, a really prominent superhero in an animated feature that was equally as adult in scope and scale to their live action movie counterparts. We obviously have Spider-Man on screen is Tom Holland, but we skipped over to another Spider-Man, Miles Morales, giving the Afro-Latina Spider-Man his first real chance on the live action screen. And, and we're not going to just put him on screen without dripping him the fuck out because he pulled up and when that movie dropped, they had the Air Jordan, Miles Morales, the hero's origin shoe drop with it. And when I say I dream about these shoes, I literally do. They are stunning. So they're basically just like the Chicago Reds, right? But they have these little Ditko dots on them and they have this blue tag and the, 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 the sole itself is kind of blue. It's a gorgeous shoe. One of the best looking integrations ever. And it actually undersold at first when it came out and then the price soared. So in 2020, if you tried to buy this shoe, right, it was over for my size, I'm a size 10. It was over $1,500. Now you can find it for the, the cheap and easy price of still $700. So obviously when they're making a new Spider-Man movie, they wanted to reach the same heights they hit the first time around. Uh, wrong. They made easily the ugliest sneaker I've ever seen for Across the Spider-Verse. I don't know who's going to buy this. Looks like trash. And they knew that it was so trash that they decided to launch another integration. Okay? They decided to launch... The Burger King Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Burger. 
and it's this beautiful cherry red. I don't know why it's red. I don't know what it, what flavoring you could possibly have with it, the bun being that red. Uh, and other than that, it looks like just like a Whopper. But we're going to go today. We're going to try the burger, and I'll tell you if it's good or not. I'll let you know the real details of how good that burger is and if it really is as magic as, as people on Twitter uh, seem to say it is. And just like that, I was off to get a burger made of literal, actual spiders. Before I can leave my house, I always have to make sure to pray to Jesus Christ himself. Look at him. He's beautiful. He's a Mickey Mouse Christmas tree. I love you. Burger King is currently selling a Spider-Man Whopper. It's actually made of spiders, and if you eat enough of them, I hear you can actually get Spider-Man's powers, so I'm on my way right now to get the Spider-Man Whopper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you see the check engine light. I get it, okay? But I'm busy. I'm making art, okay? I'm the Mickey Mouse puppet guy, and I eat Spider-Man burgers. Get my body ready to receive the hard thrust of Spider-Man's powers. I need to listen to some Spider-Man jam, so we're listening to Sunflower. Finally, I could see it on the horizon line. Burger King. The king of fast food burgers, as well as America. The Burger King monarchy has ruled this country for over 5,000 years, and here we were, standing at the kingdom. Right through the window, I could see it. The crown, the crown for a king who's had his Spider-Man Whopper. Look at that, you can see little Spider-Man eyes on it. It's adorable. The pristine placement of this burger palace truly astounded me. You could see the pure joy on my face as I entered and I saw it with my own eyes right on the front of the menu. The Spider-Man burger was here. Can I get one of the, uh, the Spider-Man burger Burger King employee was so excited I was getting the Spider-Man meal, she decided to serenade me with the songs of Spider-Man. As I'm checking out, preparing to get all burged up with this Spider-Man Whopper, I see that they have a Spider-Verse Sunday, and I know I'm coming back for dessert. Before I take a bite, before I open any package, I need to put on my Spider-Man crown, and I was right. Instantly, I felt like a pretty princess. With a nice, big old fry. My animalistic instincts were kicking in. I needed that inside me. I needed it inside me so bad. As I unwrapped the beautiful Spider-Verse wrapping paper on the Into the Spider-Verse burger, I saw it. My first sight on the beet red buns. Yeah, they, they made the bun red by using beet juice. Um, this looks truly horrible. I have to put that, I have to put that inside my body. Inside me. This is supposed to be made out of spiders. Twenty-four years on Earth. That's how much time I've spent eating food, tasting things, and this had to be the nastiest thing I've ever consumed. And I needed more. To my surprise, the second bite was delicious. I felt the power of Spider-Man surging through me, like Spider-Man was inside me, hard and powerful. I could feel the energy coursing through my veins. I was becoming a man, maybe a spider, maybe even a Spider-Man. But one thing was sure, my dick was hard. <laughs> Hey, can I get an order of the Spider-Verse Sunday? Before I left, I had to get the Spider-Verse Sunday, and to my surprise, I got to watch the culinary kings of the Burger Kingdom make it right before my eyes. It's just ice cream with Pop Rocks in it, and it made my stomach hurt. I'm finally home after eating the Spider-Man Whopper, and uh, I'm waiting for my powers to come in, and I, dude, I feel like shit. I feel fucking awful. I think I'm just gonna... <laughs> 
Oh, oh man. I feel exhausted. Dude, that Whopper is not sitting well. Oh my God. Oh. What the fuck? Um, I, I, the Whopper gave me Spider-Man's powers. I, what the fuck are you talking about? The Whopper. The Whopper we ate today. The red Whopper for Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. If you eat it, it gives you Spider-Man powers. I have all of his powers. I have fucking super strength. I can climb walls. I have fucking Spidey sense. Don't you I thought he said you had Spidey sense. <laughs> Dumbass. After a long day of self-discovery, after eating the Spider-Verse Whopper, I felt like my powers were finally ready to come in. I felt it coursing up through me, inside my stomach, and, um, yeah, I threw up. Uh, you know, I'm not a huge fan of the Spider-Man burger, but it's because I don't like fast food burgers anyways. I'm a burger snob, okay? I want a smash burger. I want something that is just... Beautiful crisp thin patties stacked twice high with American cheese on top or your cheese of choice Some people hate American you're weird for that, but some people really hate it um, That's what I want out of my burgers and a, a Burger King burger doesn't do me anything I also uh, legitimately dragged my feet to make this video today Because uh, of how exhausted I was after eating the burger. I genuinely felt like trash uh, but you know, it was an experience and it was my very first time getting, you know, while while the trend is hot, you know, I didn't eat the Travis Scott burger and I have regrets, okay? I have genuine regrets about not eating the Travis Scott burger, but here we are and I tried it and I would rate it two Tobey Maguire's out of 10 Andrew Garfield's, okay? And and if you're a Spider-Man fan, you can you can deal with that uh that analogy if you want to it doesn't make any fucking sense uh it's it's a two out of ten i hated that burger it made me feel real sick and um yeah and that's it that's the video guys boom hey we're done except here's the thing um i'm starting to film these videos live in my discord so if you want to join the bad days discord hang out with me quentin is my creative director who's in the discord he's the head moderator of the discord he's always making these videos with me so if you want to watch these videos be made almost be a part of the creation process Tap that link over there. Please subscribe to Bad Days. Watch the other videos. The Sanford video is my favorite video I've ever made, maybe up until this one. I think this one might be a pinch better. Um, and I want to I wanna do more videos and do more crazy stuff. But um, as of right now, this channel has made a beautiful uh, 40 bucks this month, which I love. But it's also cost me a beautiful $400. So uh, in honor of that, with all love, I sincerely hope your bad days are your best stories. Join the Discord. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter, at Hassan Kader. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.